is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here uh so some big news came out uh last night like around close to midnight uh bloody disgusting reportedly has an exclusive update on the status of the next scream film now in the past i have done a video on uh scream 5 or the potential shot of a scream 5 happening uh, back then, everyone was under the impression that Blumhouse was going to potentially do it. Um, I don't think that was ever anything actually came. Nothing actually came out saying that uh, other than Jason Blum saying that Blumhouse would be interested. Um, but last night, Bloody Disgusting reported that. I'll just pull up the I'll pull up the snippet from the from the uh, article. Uh, Bloody Disgusting can exclusively exclusively report that uh, Gary Barber's Spyglass Media Group is currently developing the next Scream uh, based on the franchise created by Craven and writer Kevin Williamson. Uh, now, so, uh, again, Wes Craven, he is, he's no longer with us anymore, sadly, so he would not be involved in this. Uh, and from what I'm seeing here, uh, it's unclear whether the next film will continue to be canonized within Craven's universe or whether it will be a remake. But we are he we are hearing that as of this writing, we Williamson is not writing the screenplay. Now I want to stop and talk about that right there. So off the bat, that's a disadvantage. If you're not gonna have Wes Craven, that's that's already a strike against you. Now you don't have Kevin Williamson. That's strike two. Strike three would then be having um, no Nev Campbell, having no David Arquette, having no Courtney Cox. Uh, you're just going to be striking out on all angles if you go ahead and they have they're already on two strikes so it seems like it's not confirmed that kevin williamson isn't writing it because again this is very early development on this project and it's going to be from uh this the uh, sky spy or sky glass media uh i believe they were a company way back when they haven't done anything since 2012 and now all of a sudden they've been resurrected but scream is a very 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 special series to me scream is actually my favorite horror movie uh, I love all of those movies. I, I think Scream 3 is, uh, I wouldn't say Scream 3 is the best, but Scream 3 is like my favorite out of all four of them. It's kind of like a difficult situation here. I, I say Scream, the original, is my favorite horror movie out of any horror movie, but within the series, I would say Scream 3 is my favorite. Um, not to say that Scream 3 is a, is a good movie by any means. Um, I don't think it's as bad as people make it out to be. It's decent. Uh, but it's the lesser of the uh, four movies. But moving on to the what I'm, the actual point of this video, not having Wes Craven, that's a big that's a big factor. Not and then if what Kevin Williamson isn't here, that's another big factor because he 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 and Craven they made this series what it was. They they brought it to life. Uh, Scream was very crucial when it came out in the mid '90s. It came out at a time where horror was kind of dead, and then it kind of put new blood into that genre and then you started seeing movies imitating scream it was just a whole new type of take on the genre it's very meta very self-aware very smart clever uh it recognized these horror movie tropes and tried to avoid them of course in the sequels uh, it's kind of just becoming a it's kind of living in the shadow of what it was trying to do but the movies are all still very enjoyable they're all still very well made all still very smart and clever uh also with a dose of comedy that never stays a dose of comedy never feels like it's overstayed it's welcome except within scream 3 in a few bit parts scream 3 actually is kind of like a scooby-doo episode uh but anyway with this new project i'm hoping this is scream 5 if it's not scream 5 i really do not have an interest in seeing this um i'll f i won't even follow the project um uh, actually i will I'll, I'll follow the project but just just for you guys but i won't even i won't even probably have an interest in going to see it in theaters and then hopefully by the time a trailer comes out, maybe that'll spark my interest into going and seeing it in theaters. But as of this, as of right now, I'm hoping that Nev Campbell comes back. I'm hoping that David Arquette comes back. I'm hoping that Courtney Cox comes back. And I'm hoping that Kevin Williamson somehow comes back. Whether, Regardless if it's writing or not, bring him back to be an exec executive producer. Do something. Somebody who was involved with the original films, who was under Craven, they need to be here. Because I don't think it's going to work without him. And then also, if you're not going to have somebody who was under Craven, you're taking a big risk then by now making a Scream 5 and then not having anything to do with anyone from that team. Because it's going to be a very different feel. It's going to be a very different vibe. Not to say that you can't get a talented director because there's, there's several talented horror directors out there today. But it's not going to have the same feel because it's not going to be from Craven. It's not going to be from Kevin Williamson. It's going to be from someone else. Uh, someone else who might have a track record of putting out 
hit films but for a scream movie to have such a different vibe to it now after four movies from the two same uh from the same two minds back to back like that minus uh kevin williamson stepping down for screen three that's going to be hard to do and it's going to be hard to satisfy fans uh whether or not they actually bring someone in who was involved with craven that's yet to be seen i hope they do but even regardless of that that's not to say that they can't make a good screen movie um uh, and then the all other thing that i think they might do is a reboot I don't think they need to do that at all. That's me personally. I don't think they need to do that. What needs to be done, if you really want to get this talk of a reboot going, I already have like an idea for it. In the movie Scream 5, which is what I think this should be, they have in, in the Scream series in general, there's a there's a series of films based on the events. It's a movie within a movie series. It's called Stab. In Scream 5, the killings could be sparked by a reboot of the movie within the movie. Scream 5 can still be a sequel, but it's sparked by the announcement in that universe of a reboot of Stab. That's what they could do. I really see that that could be something that uh, several people who are fans of this series would eat up. Don't make the actual film a reboot. Have the film be a sequel and make a reboot in that movie of the movie in that movie. I know that's a lot to take in, but there is a movie series in the Scream universe called Stab, and it's based on the events that we're watching. It's called Stab have the screen five revolve around a but have have it revolve around a stab reboot occurring at the time of events of a screen five and the killer is the killer and the killings begin when the screen or the stab reboot comes out or something of that nature there's several things they can do there's no reason to retell or restart this story it's just not going to i feel like everyone still wants to see something from from sydney gale and dewey there's just still one more thing that i feel that they could do here they don't need to do it and they, we already have four movies with them uh and maybe it's better if they don't touch that property because if you're not going to have someone who was with craven you're going to be hurting a lot of fans you're going to be hurting a uh sacred piece of film or a sacred piece of uh cinema and i don't want to see that happen with this project i want them to be able to do something that lives up to craven's legacy and hopefully he can be proud of it something that he would be proud of um, I don't, I don't really know. I do have an idea of who the killer would be in Scream 5. Maybe we find out that Sydney had a child from her encounter with Billy Loomis all those years ago and she gave it up for adoption. Because there's a two year gap between the original and the second film, maybe Sydney did have a secret child. Maybe that secret child is now grown up and back and they, they specifically waited till the release of this stab reboot to start the killings again and maybe bring in someone from Billy Loomis's family again. Maybe someone from Billy Loomis's side of the family, his father's side of the family found and located him and they've been uh, working together to get back at Sidney Prescott for the murder of Billy Loomis and then just for leaving the child and giving it up for adoption, not wanting anything to do with the child. There's several things a Scream 5 could do. You do not need to restart this series. Um, let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.